Hey, this is Bremster, and this is the next in the Sudoku problem series. You may have noticed I've changed the numbering. Um, I had a discussion with a few... Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and um, this is the next in the Sudoku problem series. You may notice if you open the problem or if you look at the video description, I've changed the way I'm doing the numbering. I'm no longer going to number the puzzles or the problems based on how many of that particular problem type I've done before. I'm just going to number the problems based on how many of the problems have been done. So this is problem number 50. So this is problem 50, German Whisper. Um, and this one is by Ling Wu Chain. Um, it's just easier to track and I. It, it's just going to be easier for people, I think. They can just what number am I up to? It's going to, I think it will just be easier overall. And it definitely is for me for admin. So yeah, this is a German whisper problem. Uh, the goal of this one is to fully resolve box five. Uh, the testers came back and said this one was harder than it looks. So I've rated this one as a hard problem. Um, and uh, there'll be a link below to where you can do this problem yourself. Um, if you uh, want to pause the video and give it a shot, that's fine. Um, and I'll be back in a few seconds to explain how this one works. Okay, so yeah, the trick with German whispers, of course, is you cannot put, um, the adjacent digits must have a difference of at least five. So because of that, you can never put five on a whisper line um, and digits very close to five um, must be uh, are also incredibly um, restricted. So if we look at box five, um, where can we put five? Well, we can never put five on the line because um, five higher than five is 10, five lower than five is zero, and we'd have to move away from those. So we can't put five here because of the given five. So this becomes the five. Now on the whisper line, four and six are also very restricted because um, there's only one digit for each of them that is five away. Four only has nine, six only has one. So if we were to put six on this line, we'd have to put a one next to it, but one is already in the box. So the only place we can put six is here. Now, Four can never go in the middle of a line because the only, there's only one digit that can go next to a four, which is nine. So if we put four here, these would both be nine. So four must go at the end of the line and nine must go next to it. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. So, but what we need to do now is we need to figure out which way it goes. Now, because of the way whispers have alternating polarity, if you put a, a low digit on, the next digit must be high because of the five difference. Any digit from one to four will jump to a high digit. It leaps from the five because of the five difference. So these three are also going to be the same high low, um, and these are going to be the same high low. Don't know which is which, but that's what they'll be. Now, the question we want to ask ourselves is what happens if this is a four? Um, because, and you basically try from each direction, but if this is a four, we're going to run into a problem because this will be a four, this will be a nine, but these become low digits now and these become high digits. So because the three is gone, these become two and three, this becomes three sorry, this becomes two, this becomes three, but the only thing you can surround three with because of the five difference is eight and nine, but the nine is already placed. So if this becomes the four, what, um, this becomes the two because of the given three and we don't have eight and nine to surround it. So we can never put the four here. This becomes the four, this becomes the nine. And now blue we know is high. So these become seven, eight, and these become two, three, getting rid of the corner pencil marks. Now, one of these has to be three. And because one of them has to be three, that means that seven is not um, five away from three. So because we don't know which one is three yet, we will find out pretty quick. Um, but because we don't know um, one of them is three, this has to be the eight in the middle. This becomes the seven. The seven cannot be close to three for the same reason. It's not far enough away. This becomes the two, this becomes the three, and that is the solution to the problem. And it all boils down to this three preventing this from being the three, forcing the three here, these having to be eight, nine, if we start the four here. A little bit tricky. I quite like this one because it means that you have to think about the high, low and the pressure on the fours and sixes. Um, yeah, very nice little problem. I hope you were able to figure your way through that one. Hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, Good luck with your solving.